Welcome to the Department of Dental Informatics presentation of adding a lab order in Axiom. As with many features in Axiom, there are multiple ways to go about this process. A lab order can be added either through the patient's EHR or through your personal planner. Both methods yield the same results, so today we will create the lab order through the EHR. Before a lab order can be created, there has to be a treatment planned on the patient's chart. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will plan a bridge, including the pontic, retainers, and the bridge drawbar. To get started, we will add the pontic by clicking the pontic code, the tooth where we want it, and clicking on the plan button. Now we will do the same process for the retainers, selecting the procedure code, both teeth, and clicking plan. When you plan a procedure that has an associated lab code, this window will pop up, which will give you the option to tether the appropriate lab code to the planned procedure. Note that this will not automatically initiate the lab order process. Really, the only time you should click close instead of add is when you're absolutely certain there won't be a lab needed. Finally, we will draw our bridge bar by selecting the code, the teeth, two and four, and planning. After the procedures have been planned and put in process, we can now navigate to the Labs tab to begin creating our order. First, click on the folder with the green plus to open the Add Lab Order window, and click on the ellipsis to the right of the treatment field. Double-click on the procedure for which you would like to order a lab, and immediately below the treatment field, you will notice that the Lab Procedure field has auto-populated with the appropriate lab code. With the Treatment and Lab Procedure fields complete, click OK and you'll be brought to the Lab Order Details page. The first thing you will do here is choose your discipline. Pre-doc students will always enter their discipline as pre-doc unless they're working in implantology, in which case you'll choose implantology. If you're a provider working out of a different practice, choose the appropriate practice. Next, make sure your name is listed as the provider. If your name does not auto-populate, you can just click the ellipsis and search. Finally, verify the selected lab is correct. In the Internal Note and Details fields, you can enter whatever you want, as those fields will be replaced with a note later. However, you have to have something in the fields in order to add the form, so it doesn't really matter what you put in. Click the green plus to add the record. You'll notice that the Internal Note and Details fields have changed to See Lab Form. At this point, if you have any supplements to add, you can add them by clicking on the Supplements ellipsis. This is a pretty straightforward process. Make a selection. Click the chevron pointing towards the box on the right, and repeat. To remove an entry from the selected supplements box, it's the same process in reverse. Click the supplement you want to remove, and then the chevron pointing towards the box on the left. Now you can fill out the lab order by clicking on the paper and pencil and choosing OK. This brings us to the lab order EPR form, which we will now fill out. Once you've finished filling out the form, faculty can approve it if they are available, or you can close the lab order details window and faculty can approve it later. As mentioned, faculty can approve at a later date if they are unavailable. So let's see what that looks like. We are now logged in as faculty and will search for the lab to be approved. With Mr. Munchausen selected, note that the box where his chart number is listed is teal. Click the chart number, the lab orders button. Select the lab to be approved, and click on the paper and pencil to open the form. Here, faculty can open the signature window and sign the form. After typing and signing your name, click OK. Close the EPR form. Double-click on the lab order. 
and click Approve in the lower right. The form is now approved by faculty and can be sent to the billing office for verification. Now log back in as a student and with faculty approval, the lab order can be sent to the billing office for final approval. To do this, go to the Forms tab in EHR. Expand the OUCOD lab order form, select the lab form, and click on the Add Action icon. Clicking the Running Man will bring up a dialog box where you can include an optional note. Pending approval is sufficient and select the business office message group. It is important to message the group and not an individual user in order to ensure the quickest response. Set the status to notify. Note that if you send the lab order to the billing office before having faculty sign and approve the form, it will be rejected and you will have wasted your time. You can now check the status of the form by opening the Forms tab in EHR and selecting OUCOD Lab Order Form from the list on the right. When the Billing Office approves the form, the status will change from Pending to Approved. And this concludes the Department of Dental Informatics presentation of creating a lab order form. Thanks for watching. Thank you.